What's up, gang? Matt McCoy, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. I've been up here at my farm in a little place called Granville County, a little small town kind of north of Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, tons of tree cutting, tons of log splitting, that kind of stuff. I put actually put up a little video kind of showing what I do if you want to see it. It's over on my other YouTube channel, just my name, Matt McCoy. But in this video, I'm going to talk about using and not using a guitar pick. People ask me about that a lot. Now, let me say this, too. Someone recommended the other day, they said, Matt, you ought, at the, you ought to, at the beginning of your videos, show what guitar you're playing. So I'll try to get in the habit of doing that. This is a close KLOS. I'm trying to see. It's the larger model. They just have they have different sizes. And it's a great sounding guitar. It's that carbon fiber, so it's really, really durable. I love this guitar. Um, it's got a really cool kind of like I said, carbon fiber finish to it. You could take this apart if you want to travel with it that kind of thing. It blows my mind how this thing can stay in tune. I can, put, I can keep it in the back of my truck in all kinds of weather conditions and it still stays in tune. So this is a closed carbon fiber guitar. So we'll use the song Keith Whitley uh, when you say nothing at all. Starting out using a regular guitar pick. Smile on your face, it's me know that you be. So what's cool about a guitar pick is you can really kind of get that rhythm going and it makes a louder sound because you're you're raking down the strings, kind of give you more volume. So, forth. so, like I said, I would say in in my last probably 50 videos, half of them I've used a guitar pick, half of them I have not. And people are always asking me about that, so I thought maybe I'll address it. So that's with the guitar pick. What I like about not using a guitar pick is one, if you don't have a guitar pick, you're fine, right? You can just kind of, um, but you'll see, sometimes you might even think I do. Big airplane going by. But what I'm actually doing is using, the, I, I'm holding it, my hand, like I have a guitar pick. I'm just using the outside of my fingernail. Smile on your face, it's me. Oh, so you probably think I'm using a pick. Like I said, it's just as though I have one, but it's my fingernail. Smile on your face, let's me know that you need truth in your eyes. So forth. But what I like about, I, I've preached this in, in videos in the past because I've done so many videos. Um, I like how you can become, I always say this, kind of one with the guitar. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you play a G chord, you lock in the two bottom strings of your third fret and the fifth string of the second fret, top string of the third. So these, and you've plucked down the strings, each of those, that's a note within that chord. So any string you're playing with these fingers pressed, you can play and still be within that G chord. So remember that. When you're, when you're talking about a chord, it's just certain notes put together in a certain order, and that makes up, like I said, a G chord. And then you slide your top two fingers down, you're to see a nine. You're just plucking around that bottom five, then press the third string. It's kind of a D seuss, but let's call it D. So again, as long as that timing is down, smile on your, let's see, smile on your face. I see. I like how you can kind of switch songs up by, like I said, you can squeeze maybe two strings and then flip it up with your first finger, puck it down with your thumb. See? So I can kind of stop the string, smack it, that kind of thing. So I've found when you're not using a tar pick, you can kind of switch the sound up and make it a little fancier. So it I say this often, like, I don't consider myself really advanced with guitar. I've been playing for a number of years, 30 years now, whatever. But I still kind of know the basic chords. I'm not that good at bar chords. I'm not that good at solos. But, so I, I'm always trying to look at ways I can make myself sound a little, little more advanced, a little better. And doing this is one of them. You said the grass cleaner. Must have never seen the other side. One don't kill you, makes you stronger. 
sure sounds like a lie Who ever said the time heals everything Everything would be alright Who ever said it ain't the end of the world You'll find somebody new Or some never met you A little loop comes there So, so again by doing that That's just kind of squeezing two strings Anytime you can kind of do that That little tap I think it makes it sound cool. You're adding that kind of that that, that strum, that bass, that beat, and rhythm, whatever of. Daisy and a moon coming up to the eyes, shining through the trees. Crickets are singing and lightning bugs are floating on the breeze. Baby, get ready. Little fishing in the dark. So again, that's just kind of the squeeze, whatever. These are kind of things you can do without a pick. Five chords, um, but that's another thing I like to do. Is take my thumb, and like I said, and just kind of go down the down the strings within that chord. I think that's a cool sound. What this does to it really teaches you about kind of rhythm and a flow and the timing. You hear me say all the time about strumming is about timing. When you do this, kind of see, so just do things and mix it up. And let me know. Let me know what you think. Do you usually, y'all are my audience, you tell me, do you all usually use a pick or do you not? Like I said, I, I'm about 50 50. I find a lot of times I can't find mine because I've got three little boys. That are now eight, eight, six, and four. They're always taking my stuff. See, a lot of times if I'm doing a song like it's like see where you kind of pick it really. Got a little flow, picking all the strings. Then you might want to use a pick. But if you're just messing around with the chords, try using it without. Hope it helps you guys. Like I said, I just want to jump in here real fast. Taking a little break from the firewood. About to go back at it. I love you guys. Check out Country Song Teacher. All one word. Country Song Teacher. I usually put a little thing right there. Uh, for my songbook, my strumming courses, all that kind of fun stuff. Hopefully it can help you playing a little bit. And tell somebody about the channel. That'll help your boy out. Until next time, God bless you.